are you doing? Showing you Aussie hair insurance. Just okay. Rub it under your chin. Just kind of work it into the fur. Down the tail, the butt. Okay, I'm turning the blow dryer on. Starting out with heat on. This blow dryer has three settings. High heat, low heat, and no heat. Um, the blow dryer comes with um, a couple of attachments. I like the one that comes to a circle. There's also one that comes uh, flat. Uh, the circle brought you through every every piece of the skin. It just goes right to the skin to dry. So it actually dries from the skin to the tip of the head. Feet are very important uh, to get dry. Uh, they match bad if you don't dry them. Let every bit of the feet dry. Again, she feels very comfortable um, up against me. I have. She is holding on to me. I am not uh, forcing her to lay here. Inside the feet. On top of the feet. All the way down to closes. from the bottom to the top and if you remember at the end of the bathing video she combed the cat out it's much easier to blow dry if you comb the cat out it separates the hair and probably cuts her blow drying time in at least a half probably half yeah so, absolutely so. wet combing is important video and what we would do with a long hair, a person, an exotic long hair, okay. whatever you want to call it. Can you think of a difference? You have to be a little more careful with a long hair not to knot the hair up. So you can't just, like I'm doing with her, you have to be more careful. And Slow, pulling out. Slower, yeah. Combing out along there is important. In between the legs, the armpits, you want to get all those masks out. Anything knotted together.
dryer to blow drying. You do not want to blow dry a man's cat. You will just make it work. So I'm holding on to her neck because she doesn't want me to go up close to her face. Dropping. Very, very important to get the underneath of the cat dry. The underneath of the cat is what will mat, not the back. If you get the, t the underneath dry and then dry the top, a uh, lot less likely to cause mat from the cat. It's okay, baby girl. Good, if you don't dry. using the technique of my hands just barely touching her neck, keeping her in control. With a kitten, a baby, for those people that are buying kittens that need to blow dry and wash their cat, it's extremely easy to blow dry the kitten because you hold the kitten by the back of the neck, turn them upside down, and they'll just stay there. They don't fight you as much as an adult will. Um, and it's not that she's fighting, she just really doesn't care for it that much. Um, she's pretty much used to this. The kitten is, is so much simpler to, to blow dry because you have total control of this. tell the cat's not dry see how the hair is separating when the cat's totally dry the hair will be all one each individual hair not clumped up with that
Okay. Back so you're getting the full effect of what it is to blow dry an adult. Um, don't let them intimidate you. Um, you're the mom. You're the boss. They need to be blow dried. It's not hurting them. So don't be scared about that. Just get them dry. She's not done, but I'm gonna separate the hair that's dry, or that's wet still, and try and get it to dry faster. Again, just a gentle pinch on the neck. Mostly where she's wet is around her neck here the tail feels pretty good it has to be all the way dry fuzzy navel and again the reason that it needs to be all the way dry so it does not mat and it will mat it'll clump together stick together and then you'll hit you'll have to pull it out in one piece it's not a pretty sight okay and a good clean, well-bathed cat and dry cat will last four to six weeks. So as a pet owner, you could probably go as much as eight weeks in between baths if you bathe well the first time. And we are talking about a short hair. Long hairs are going to be a little bit different. And this, you've got the gist of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the video off. And I think if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of us.